Hey kids, so today we've got a lesson all about rhythm reading. And these sorts of rhythms are a little bit different than what we're used to. And so today we're going to be taking a look at rhythm that we call the syncopated rhythm. That sounds sort of like this. Ti-ta, ti-ta, ta, ti-ta, ti-ta, ta. We're going to take a look at that rhythm through some videos, and then we're going to have a Flipgrid assignment where you'll be able to post a video to Flipgrid where you can speak these rhythms yourself. So I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you in a little bit. So let's start with this song called Shake, Down, Shake the Papaya Down. Listen to this, and then we're going to talk about these rhythms. Here we go. All right, let's stop right there and let's go back and let's take a look at this rhythm. So the rhythm that we're really looking at, we can see it right down here in our drum line, right here. It's We have a single eighth note, a quarter note, another single eighth note, and then we've got this other stuff, the two eighth notes and the quarter. So this sounds like this. Ti-ta, ti-ti-ti-ta, ti-ta, ti-ti-ti-ta, ti-ta, ti-ti-ti-ta. Let's take a look at that rhythm in action. You'll notice the singers also have this rhythm. They say ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta, and then it just keeps going like that. So we have this single eighth note right here, followed by a quarter note, and then another single eighth note, and then we end up with two quarter notes, and that's sort of our basic rhythm. Let me show it to you in another way. All right. So now we're here in our rhythm lesson from last week, where we're talking about these rhythms a little bit more. In fact, let me show it to you right here. We have our quarter note. Normally we have two eighth notes together, but today we've split those eighth notes apart. So we have something that looks like this, a single eighth note. Now if I put the two, of, two single eighth notes together, they would hold hands. But right now they're not together and they're not holding hands. And so this is only worth half a beat whereas the two of them together would equal one beat. Now if I come down here to my little rhythm builder, I can really see it in action, where I take a single eighth note, I'll move it right over here, and it may be hard for you to see, but this is supposed to be half a box, not a whole box, so it's only worth half a beat. Then I'm gonna take my quarter note and move it right next door, then I'm gonna take another eighth note right here, and I wonder how many beats I've got. I've got half, plus one, plus half. Can you do that sort of math? Well, I mean, you can't really answer me right now, but if you could, I suspect you would say two beats. And if you did, I'd say, wow, that was right. So, oops, let's leave that here. So I've got two beats, but I need four. So I just come up and I get two more quarter notes. And now I've got four beats. So now when I look at it, it's more like this. Tita, tita, ta. Ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta just like that. Now there are some variations to this. I can take these three, put them right down here, and maybe I'd like to stick one quarter note here, but the other quarter note, I'll put it over here. And now we've got something a little bit different that looks like this: ta ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta mostly just like that. I can also, I have one more variation I can do where I can move these three now right here and I can put both quarter notes ahead of it. 
So there's like three natural variations to this rhythm, and this is that other one. So now it goes ta ta ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti just like that. Now we've also got a video where you're going to be able to read these rhythms as you watch that video. So let's watch that video now. Here we go with our video, let's watch. Fast forward a little bit. It looks very much like our Shake the Papaya video. The two of them are meant to be connected, so this is the Papaya edition. <laughs> See if you can read these rhythms along with me. Tita, tita. I want to say something before we start this. This is our next variation to it, but let me just point out our papayas are like our steady beat. And so we have four beats in this measure. We get four papayas. We see that the first papaya lands right here with our quarter note. The second papaya is going to come right here on this next beat, but then the ta is going to jump ahead and it's going to jump in that space in between the beats. We call this the upbeat. Then our papaya lands, but there's no note it's landing on because our ta has already sounded. Instead, our T will come in in the other space in between, another upbeat, and then finally our last ta lands right on the beat. In this thing right here where it lands not on the beat, but in the upbeat area, that is called, that's the syncopation, that's the juicy part that makes that rhythm so good. Let's see if you can speak this along with it. Now the video will go on, but we don't need to really watch any more of this. Now let's move over to our flip grid assignment and I'll show you what to do. All right, so now we're on to our activity right here, the flip grid activity. And what you'll be doing is you're going to be reading all of these rhythms, all of the rhythms number one, then number two, then number three, into a little video. So it's not very hard. It's it's easier than it seems. So we see right here our first rhythm says ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta ti ta ti ta ta to we o we. But I want to point out the words themselves are not important. It's the rhythm of the words. So you could just as easily and correctly say ba 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 that's fine, but what's not okay is to say ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. That's just speaking the words. That's not what I want. I want the rhythm of the words. So we do all of one, then you do number two, and number two sounds like this. Ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, do we, yo, we. Number three is a little different. Listen for, especially when I get here, that ti, ta is gonna come so fast. This number three sounds like this. Ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta, ti, ta, ti, to, we, o, we. You can even hear how this T goes so quick into that ta. The T often just leads straight into that ta. So you're going to want to speak these rhythms just like this. And when you do, you're going to want to use flip grip. Let's see what that looks like. All right, now I'm here at Flipgrid, and I see lots of people have already made a video. Oh, how nice is that? And so you can check out that if you'd like, if it's possible. But right now I'm just going to make a little quick little video, so I'll click this. It's going to give me about 1 minute and 30 seconds to do it. That's pretty easy. Then I say, let's go. And now it's recording me as I'm recording my lesson. 
if I want to remember my rhythms, I can just click right here on Show Topic, and here's my rhythms. They're sort of in a mini view. I think I can make them bigger. I don't know. Anyway, but just read these rhythms off just like this, and once you're finished reading the rhythms, you press Stop. You then go to Next. Ooh. And now it's recording me as oh, I'm recording my lesson. And now I get to do the selfie. That's the best part. Let me see if I can do this. Well, that's a quality selfie right there. I can add some effects so people think that I'm cool. Yeah, I think people are really going to like that about me. Oh, yeah, that's some quality right there. And then... Then I upload it. Now you can put your name on it. Hit submit. Success. So that's what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be taking this little guy right here. Follow this link right here to Flipgrid. And in Flipgrid, you will post a video with your name on it. Now, look at some of these kids who didn't want their faces shown. They just use weird filters. One person just put a great big stuffed animal in front of their face. So if you don't want me to see your face... I don't need to actually see your face. I just need to know your name and I need to hear those rhythms. So make sure you do that so that I can give you a great grade. And I hope you have a great weekend and see you next time. Bye-bye.